following, excuse me, solve the following initial value problem. So we remember an initial value problem is the differential equation and some initial value. The x value doesn't always have to be zero. It can be any number, but in this particular case it happens to be zero. And they tell me that the curve, when x is equal to zero, it passes through the point four. So it passes through the point zero, four. That's, so I know this much, and I know that this is the relationship that dy dx equals x squared over y cubed. Let's see if this is possible to solve. So here we have, so y prime, I'm going to write that as, let me do this in blue. So I'm going to write that as dy dx is equal to x squared over y cubed. And we try to separate variables. So we're going to end up with dy equals x squared dx over y cubed. Now I'm going to multiply by y cubed, and I end up with y cubed dy equals x squared dx. So yes, in this particular case, we were able to separate the variables. Now we just integrate both sides. So integrate this side, integrate this side, and I end up with y to the fourth over 4 is equal to x cubed over 3 plus c. That's it. This is my general solution. Now, if you want to, you can solve explicitly for y. So, so let me just say, you are welcome to leave it in this form. <clears throat> Excuse me. You are welcome to leave it in this implicit form. Leave it. in implicit form. In other words, not y equals some function of x. Or, if possible, again, sometimes it's not going to be possible, sometimes it is, or if possible, you can solve explicitly for, explicitly, spell properly here, explicitly for y. In this particular case, it ends up being, um, I multiply by 4, so I end up with y to the fourth equals 4 thirds x cubed plus 4c, and I get y equals 4 thirds x cubed plus 4c all to the 1 fourth power. So this is the explicit it doesn't matter. It's a personal choice, however far you want to take it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and deal. So this is the general solution, the one that involves the constant. Now let's deal with the initial value problem. So y of 0 equals uh, y of 0 equals 4. Uh, is it y of 0 equals 4 or y of 0 equals 2? Well, it doesn't matter. So let's see, I think on my paper I have a different value, but it doesn't really matter. So let's go to, so now for the initial value. So y of 0 is equal to 4. Yes. All right, so now we have the y to the fourth over 4, so we'll write our equation down again, is equal to x cubed over 3 plus c. So now we're looking for this particular c. Okay, so we put these in. So y is equal to 4, so it's going to be 4 to the fourth over 4 is equal to 0 cubed over 3. This is x, this is y. It's, okay plus c. Well, c is going to equal 4 cubed. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 16 is 64. So c equals 64. Therefore, our final solution is y to the fourth over 4, our particular solution, is equal to x cubed over 3 plus 64. That's it. It's that simple.
This is what the family of solutions looks like for different values of C. That's it. Like that. That's all it is. For a particular value of C, you're going to get a curve that looks like that, one of those curves. That's all. Okay.